Let's talk about film. This tutorial will help you begin to understand some basic concepts in the study of film and television. This discussion is designed for junior high students trying to compare written style to film style. I encourage you to take notes and apply these concepts to your viewing of film and television. These tutorials address four concepts, light, color, framing, and production design. Now, we will focus on light. Ready? Let's go. The definition of light is fairly obvious. However, when you watch film and television, remember that light has an amount. So one can discuss light as high or low. We can think about very technical terms to describe light, but at a basic level, let's just consider the amount of light high or low, with of course levels in between. You can consider the amount of shining light or shadows in a scene. Look at this shot from Casablanca. You can tell that it contains low light. Many shadows fill the shot. Shadows even cast themselves on characters' faces. The light is sparse. In contrast, this shot, also from Casablanca, shows a high amount of light. Lights pepper the scene, and throughout you can see just about everything that is going on within the frame. So what does light do? Well, low light can create negative moods of suspense, threat, mystery, or sadness. That shot we saw previously from Casablanca was a low moment for a character, a moment of despondency, tragedy, and depression. High light can create positive moods of optimism, happiness, or strength. The other shot from Casablanca showed a moment of joy, a moment of happiness within a restaurant and bar. How do you know what it does, though? Well, there's one and only one principle to remember. You should identify the type of light and think of what it might do in the story. Understanding the low light in that first shot of Casablanca depends on understanding what's going on in the story. You must know what's going on with the character to understand what that low light means. On the other hand, you also must understand what's going on in that setting of the restaurant with the high lighting. Understanding what's going on in the story and linking that to the amount of light in the scene can help you understand how a filmmaker's style emerges. What is the low light doing? What is the high light doing? Consider the story and consider the technique. Here's another example. This comes from Citizen Kane. This shot from Citizen Kane creates a mood of mystery through its low light. These characters are never clearly identified. You don't understand who they are, and they are dealing with a mystery. The low lighting, used by Orson Welles, the director, emphasizes that mystery. Here are some final thoughts. Pay attention to the light in camera shots, and think about how it creates a mood for the story. If you think about light when you're watching a shot and you think about the story, the connections should be pretty obvious. That's all for now. Do not forget to think about these concepts as you watch your next movie or TV show. You'll be cinematically literate in no time.